to my channel and welcome to another video. So today we are briefly going to talk about, um, it was a conversation that Tyler Perry was having with in a, in a recent interview. And actually we're talking about Peach McIntyre, but she is having a discussion with her husband in reference to this conversation. As a matter of fact, this conversation will be brought up on a future episode of Bonnets and Brie with the bullshit. And it talks about um, men taking the female traditional role in the household, which is cooking, cleaning, and taking care of the kids, and the wife taking the traditional male role of being the breadwinner. So y'all know we always talk about Peach and how she talks about how her husband's a bum and don't do nothing. But when we call him a bum, you know, she's she swinging in the streets for the man. You know what I'm saying? He all this and he all that. But she had a conversation with him and asked him how he felt about what Tyler Perry said in their situation. And we gon' you know, peek on over there real quick. We gon' just peek on over there real quick and see what they had to say. I'ma pull it on up here and we gon' peek on over there real quick. Just real quick. Here we go. All right, debating about what Tyler Perry said. Everybody keep posting me, I mean tagging me and these little reaction clips of black women being angry. This is how I feel. I feel like as a black woman who out earns her husband currently, it is okay for me to cover all the bills. I have no problem with covering all the bills. How you feel about that? You okay with me covering all the bills? If you're not okay with it, then why you don't give me bill money? Why you don't give me bill money? In months. In months. More than two months. And you kept it and gambled it and ain't give me shit. And then the next month I didn't, the next couple months I ain't say to keep it. You just stopped giving it. Now, I'm going to say this first of all. I mean, we all have opinions about her and her husband. And then on the other side of it, we all see what we feel is the deal with her and her husband. But one thing that is seemingly consistent is the fact that she finds and takes every opportunity to emasculate him. Now, whether or not he's okay with it or not, I mean, it's fair to have the conversation, but if you're going to have the conversation respectfully, the fact of how she does things and how she throws him on camera, if she was sitting there having that conversation with her husband, she should have had that conversation in private, especially when two days ago she was just on here talking about what he make after consistently say he don't make nothing and don't want to make nothing. I mean, the thing is, honey, get consistent so he can be consistent and so we can know what your consistency is. She's so wishy-washy, fake, and full of BS that you really don't know from one moment to the next where to go with the conversation. Anyway, I don't mind paying all the bills. I don't mind um, providing all the food. I don't mind being a provider financially. However, I mind if I got to do all that and still do all the housework and still take care of the kids. I mind then. Now. Y'all. Baby, baby, baby. Y'all know good and damn well she don't do all the cleaning. She don't take care of all the kids. That little time period that that man was gone and she was doing the job of most mothers, the girl about had a damn nervous breakdown. This is how she was looking for real. 
she full of shit. Also, me and Wood was just talking. He was saying that men can't get a good job. Like when I feel like men just lazy these days. I don't know what the fuck. They okay with women taking care of them. That's just that's just what it is. They okay with their wives and baby mamas and girlfriends out earning them and paying all the bills. They're okay with it. But I feel like they're not okay with doing all the housework and shit. If if Wood worked and paid all the bills, if he did social media seriously and paid all the bills. I would cook, I would clean, I would take good care of the kids. I would. He's saying, he's saying you a lie because she a lie. She is not a domestic, obviously. She is obviously an intellect because she is a good thinker. And, you know, she's aggressive and she can, in certain instances, be a hard worker as well. And she definitely has to give the gab. Like, now, you know, this the things that Peach uh, has, you can't take that from her. I mean, you just can't. So uh, let it be what it is. But don't be on here lying because we know you lying and he for sure know you lying. That's why he didn't even let her finish that ignorant thought. If you're giving me a little bit of money, if you're giving me a little wood. So once upon a time, wood work and I did not work, but I had Section 8. Would work, and when he came home from work after his payday and got paid, this man gave me $200. It was $200. Baby, it was $200, I remember. I probably could tell you the serial number on him. It was $200, and I'm used to getting thousands or at least $1,500 when I get paid, so that wasn't no money, so I was like, fuck this, I'm going back to work, bitch, ain't finna look kid, me $200. Now, Wood, I don't do you that way. If you didn't work and had no money coming in, I don't mind giving you ten thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars. Okay, but then if I'm gonna give you that kind of money, <clears throat> excuse me, why not pick up the responsibility with the kids, like the slack? I shouldn't have to clean up. How the fuck I still gotta clean up? If I'm the fact of the matter is, and she said this out of her own mouth, she nasty. She don't like to clean up. She don't like to do nothing. She don't like to wash dishes. She don't like to do nothing. She don't like the doggone wash clothes, especially. She'll go buy a whole new wardrobe before she wash clothes. And if that's what she want to do and she got the money to do it, that's her business. But don't be on here lying to us, baby. Don't lie to us and don't lie in front of him because he going to call you out every time because he ain't with it. And neither are we. Guys, what do y'all think about this? Do y'all think she is full of crap? Or are you believing the BS that she is throwing? Now, he ain't believe it. I ain't believe it. But tell me what you think. Do you believe it? Y'all hit that like and like button. Be sure if you have not hit the subscribe button that you go ahead and do so. And meet me in the conversation so we can get that conversation popping. And I'll see you in the next video.